uh, until last 2014 month of January I really don't remember exactly the date I decided to revert into Islam <laughs> I decided to be a Muslim I got so interested in Islam because of something very special and these things you have to know before I used to sing in the Catholic Church you know I am a choir leader I used to lead people in singing in joyful songs in healing songs in worship songs to give a message to people to let them feel how it is to feel the presence of God through Christian songs through worship songs and I was so really passionate that time I always want to to share to people how it is the love the hope and the, the unity the beautiful of being uh, in the presence of God through singing songs in the charismatic way so that was me before and um, really until now I still have this passion for the love the peace and you know for at least uh, sharing to people how it, it it is to be not a perfect because we are not perfect but as a better or if not a good person yes to tell you guys in the Catholic Church I was a minister of music I lead I'm teaching the choir the songs but everything changed when I met this person on YouTube okay as I've said on my last vlog I've told her I was at home for three months and it all it, that all started that way you know I used to have a very bad impression and image about Muslims when we say Muslims especially in the in our country the Philippines me myself I am really so scared I look up to them like they are not good people they are traitors you cannot be friends with them and it's like they're gonna chop off your head once they become your enemy that's how bad they are they are hijackers they are kidnappers and um, they it's like uh, you cannot be a, cannot build a nice relationship with these people there's no way for me to be interested about Muslims especially they said they don't believe in God and they are worshiping a black box in the desert and they are praying five times in a day so that is my first impression with Muslims not good right and all I understand everything about Muslims is also they have their women oppressed you know they are badly treating their women I even heard some stories about that they are beating their wives and a very small single mistake they would beat their wives oh my god this is how I understood Muslims and uh, <laughs> I was never interested until I came across this one uh, someone who is uh, explaining about Muslims and his journey in Islam and this is Yusuf Estes who is Yusuf Estes he is formerly you know a preacher an American living in Texas and um, he was preacher he was a preacher preaching about of course the Christianity He's a Protestant, you know, but he was a revered Muslim. From Joseph Estes, he became Yusuf Estes. And he was uh, uh, reverted, he reverted to Islam by the year 1991. So that's it. I'm giving you uh, a small understanding of who this person whom I am always um, mentioning of. Yusuf Estes I really cannot forget this guy and if you haven't watched his video his journey to Islam Yusuf Estes you can watch and maybe from there you would understand what I got interested into why 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 actually guys there is one thing in the 
religion of Islam that has brought me a lot of indulgence and it is the mon it's monotheism. It is in the belief of just only one God and that makes that the belief very simple and easy and that is how is Islam. The belief of, of only just one God. Okay. So guys, <laughs> at this point, I want to tell you that from uh, October to December 2013, I was studying uh, things about Islam. I want to end up in a firm decision if I am going to convert or not. But uh, there's really something in me that telling me to do so. I just really cannot explain. So I have several questions on my mind before I really decide. What will my family say? Of course, I'm a little bit scared about this. What will my friends or my the people who are with me in this Catholic church or in the charismatic group will tell me? Of course, they will get surprised. Why suddenly the decision to revert into another religion, which is Islam? And then, of course, what will be the repercussions after? Can I can I afford to pray five times a day? Can I afford to put up uh, to cover myself like this and putting on a need uh, a hijab and a lot more of those difficult conditions if you become if you revert into Islam? I was I was really considering a lot of things and you know may Allah bless us all. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching.